So I'm just getting ready to list some of these uh, Harris display units. And uh, model number, they are an RCP32X, or RCP-32X1 IDE. I didn't show them very well. But one of these units were dead, so I decided to uh, take it apart. And uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> The uh, process of taking it apart wasn't very fun. So it's kind of clipped and snapped together in ways that I was not expecting. Not hard, just, yeah, unexpected. So I'm going to change the 1x zoom here. Show the power supply. It's meanwhile branded. Power supply is good, I believe. It's at least good enough to cause the screens to flash initially and turn on for a fraction of a second. And a little breakout board in the back with an Altera chip. And that's handling some uh, signaling stuff. Along with uh, dip switch settings. Let's see if I can get this right side up. There we go. And uh, there's some weird internal stuff that wasn't used. I'm not sure why. Got some RG45 jacks and a variety of connectors. I think. Some of these might be jumpers, but then there's also more switches on the uh, end there. The whole thing's just kind of chaotic. And then there's some uh, flash storage on a soda module. Let's see if I can get that right side up so you can at least see the one chip. The power cable just kind of feeds through the gap. It's as close as I'm going to get. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I'm trying so hard to save this. I'm not going to do anything with it, probably. I'll set it aside, and maybe if, if there's enough interest in the working one, somebody will buy it for parts. But um, there's an Altera Flex chip there. If the lighting will work with me, it's about the best we're going to get. That almost looks like a RAM chip of some sort. I see a power cable coming on through here. It does have a super cap for uh, battery backup purposes, I'm assuming. And some of these components are for those RJ45 jacks from the look of it. Along with looks like maybe some power regulation over here. And this board here is the connector board for the back of the display. Too big. This whole thing goes to the back of the display. And there's a lot more intelligence on here too. <laughs> it's really weird how everything's kind of scattered all over the place. But right, got an Altera chip there, a Cyclone 2. A lot of power regulation, as you can see from the board along with some buttons. Not sure what else going on there. I'm guessing this uh, Altera chip is what's controlling the displays, though, and the buttons. And here's the button board. This can be configured with more buttons for different models. As you can see, the pads for each display and uh, button assembly. Not too much on here for intelligence, just a lot of uh, power control and then I'm sure some signaling related stuff. But rows upon rows upon rows of uh, connectors from that go into that board. I uh, suspect that basically these are all being fed straight through. There's not like any, um, I don't know what the right word is, like multiplexing or whatever going on. Here's the uh, bottom of the board right side up. The thing that was interesting about this is it was really hard <clears throat> To get all these disconnected so I could remove the board that was screwed down through here on some standoffs. And um, I also had to pry it out of this. Oh no. Did I just lose a screw? No. There it is. Um, so there's these tabs in the uh, board for the buttons and the displays, and they uh, latch into the frame. 
So this is just sheet aluminum, but uh, yeah, trying to get it out was kind of tricky. Basically had to uh, stretch out the frame and release the tabs to unlock them from their places. But overall an interesting unit. I uh, was hoping the the buttons were maybe on like uh, sockets or something so they'd be easier to remove but they're all soldered. Um, not that many pins so this cluster pins here. Let's see here. So there's 11 pins total that are uh, running the display buttons. I'm guessing there's a logical amount of uh, stuff going on there. It's probably a power input, ground, uh, probably two pads for the switch itself and the rest of it's for just the um, display signaling. I would assume like um, horizontal vertical sync or something. I don't know. I don't really want to destroy this to like see what the buttons are because uh, it's either going to get sold or maybe these buttons will get salvaged if, uh, if it's possible to reverse engineer them and how to use them and stuff. But I assume that those buttons probably have some degree of logic. But I could be wrong. But uh, not too good of a tear down. I just thought it'd be fun to show what was inside. So hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.